spin, spin, twist. Spin, spin, and twist. Spin away from you, spin away from you, twist towards you. Spin away, spin away, twist towards, right? Spin away from you, spin away from you, spin towards you. And you just do that over and over again, and before you know it, you'll have a really good length of rope to use. And of course, you want to size the rope for what you need, you know? That's all you got to do. And so you see these, you see these fibers that hang off the edge right there? You know, like that right there? Yeah, there's, there's quite a few of them on there. Well, the traditional tool, the traditional tool to use for removing those is this uh, glass bullseye tool that I have right here. And you see where the mouth is? There's a little sharp edge right there and you use that to grab onto these fibers and yeah, you just grab onto it and cut them off and you use that tool to tool to snip them off with and that, that's what this this glass bullseye is for is for trimming those little ends right there we're trimming these stray ends off a of rope and yeah it's a really beautiful and kind of decorative tool yeah, but you can see it does a really important job and then that, that's what it's for is for cleaning up these ropes and taking those loose fibers off and you can use fire you can use fire to do it with but i far prefer using my my little glass bullseye you know or something similar you can use any tool that does the same thing you know like a seam ripper it's like a, it's a seam ripper this glass bullseye is exactly a seam ripper you know for cutting threads and you can use it in very similar ways and this is this is one of the jobs you can use to, to do that with this for trimming off these little fibers. So, yeah, that makes that makes the, the badger and the buffalo tool really, really cool because you know the, the badger the badger tool is for stripping bark off of the tree. You actually work the bark off with the badger. And then you use the buffalo to trim the stray ends off your ropes. And so those two tools get used quite a bit in rope making. And when you're not using them, they make decorative uh, pieces to, to look at. keep just keep spinning it sometimes you'll have <clears throat> little short ends <clears throat> you have little short fibers that stick out and of course you trim those off afterwards you know these little fibers that these little stray fibers that stick out like that that one right there yeah these these you just cut off when you're done some people do it as they go along but I always wait till the rope is finished first Spin, spin, twist, spin, spin, twist. And see, when you get to a point where you need to add in another fiber, that's all you got to do. Just, you just lay that lay that fiber on top of the fiber that you want to add in yeah, and give it a single twist see now now it's locked in place see those fibers are all locked together and I can just continue on 
I can continue on you can see now I've got a really long fiber right there instead of a short one see and I can continue doing this until the rope is as long as I want and just keep adding fibers in you got to control the diameter you want to make sure that <clears throat> you're not making your rope too thick or too thin as you go along you got to kind of meter the material you know and that's where a little bit of care just put a little bit of care in, into it and then when you get done when you get done you see you just you just cut those those little fibers off cut them off and burn them off you use fire to burn them off and then you know you just you end up having a nice long piece of cordage that you can use to tie anything <clears throat> that you need together and so making a hand laid two ply cord like this is very simple and you know when you're sitting around a campfire and all your other work is done and you got time to got time to relax and, and think about doing stuff like this and you, know, you can start building building things that, that you really want out of material like this and just a space of about four minutes you can see I've, I've already got 12 inches of cordage built and it has good strength you know, I can't rip it apart you can't tear it okay. tie overhand knots in it you know see you can tie any kind of knot that you want in that and you've, you've got rope and this is the bark from the linden tree that I used right here, the lime tree. That's very good stuff. <clears throat>